but it's uh, it's the middle of the day. Look how dark it is. But then again, I suppose it is November. Anyway, the point of this video. If you are one of our Instagrammers, then you will know that recently we've been away in Lanzarote doing some filming at Cesar Manrique's Cactus Garden. Um, we were there for about a week or so, um, but when we came back, flipping neck, what happened to the garden? Jesus Christ, I could bomb it. <sighs> Let me show you what happened. So this frame was completely covered by the uh, the autumn colour of this Vitus cognetii, otherwise known as the Crimson Glory Vine, and uh, it did look really nice. So um, I thought this could happen. So before I went away, I actually took a little image of, of how the colour was going. It wasn't as good as I was hoping for, and we usually get a really, really deep red, but you know, the plant isn't particularly old. It's only its second year on this frame. Um, but of course, it was an absolute mess of leaves on the floor, so I had to get the, uh, get the old leaf rake out, deal with that, get all that crap away. And the second problem we had was the uh, the old apple tree. And again, it, it's like it decided to drop pretty much every single apple on the tree onto the floor. And although it's unsightly messy, it starts attracting, hopefully not rats into the garden, but certainly some animals. All of that, that all had to be cleared up because you can't leave these on the ground because the um, apples start to rot and it starts to uh, kill off any of the grass that's actually underneath it so you end up with a, a load of little holes you can probably pick up on the camera little holes with these words like I say we went away that long We've also had quite a big colour change in the garden, as you would expect in the autumn where all the deciduous plants start to draw in nutrition from the foliage in order to build up the reserves for the spring. So we've got a forsythia here, that's all started changing. Got the giant leaf hostas there all going back into their autumn colour. And just over here, you can see like the, uh, the orangey, almost buttery yellow of this um, uh, Parthenocystis quinquifolia. Quinquifolia meaning five leaves. You can see you've got the, the five leaved lobes uh, on this plant. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I keep forgetting I've got this here. That does look really good. That's a Monstera deliciosa, which you'd normally expect more in the uh, subtropics, but that's actually looking really, really good. The crocosmias are dying back. The, uh, the tree lilies are dying back. Another one of those... Um, giant leaves hostas that's dying back and oh the uh, ornamental rhubarb over there that's um that's dying back too but despite all of this autumnal depression and i know some people are big fans of autumn i just find it's a bit sad it's all deteriorating you've got that smell of the autumn it's the harbinger of winter and who <laughs> doesn't like the winter freezing cold anyway my old bones can't take it but despite all that this been some life there's been some activity things have still happened in the garden despite the uh, the cooler weather the shorter day temperatures we've still got stuff either in bloom or trying to bloom and um it's weird it's weird and i think what the problem is is down here on the south coast it is still relatively mild i mean november i'm still in short leaf shirts and i'm an old person so i am at risk but this is what they're doing let me show you Look at that, that's uh, Nicotiana sylvestris, the uh, woodland tobacco. It's all shot out into new flower again, and that foliage is looking really, really healthy. My planted bowl is still looking really, really good. You've got the salvias doing flower, the uh, African marigolds, not really from Africa, um, are still putting out new buds. The, uh, okay, the fuchsia thalia is looking a bit tired, but even so, it's got a mass of flower on it. This fuchsia, although it has started to drop leaves, again, it's still in full flower, and I do like this plant in that pot, it's really nice, but over is the absolute star of the garden. It's my Brugmansia, and it's it's absolutely smothered in these massive blooms. I mean, flipping it, that is absolutely amazing. And the lovely thing about this, beyond the fact that it's, it has superb exotic blooms, uh, is uh, it, it's night scented. So when you come out in the evenings, it's absolutely gorgeous. The air is filled with sort of like vanilla y, citrusy scent. Absolutely gorgeous. Can I just point out this little darling here? That's one of the uh, Tropicana um, cultivars. Uh, and it's just about to come into bloom. You can just see the uh, the petals inside those shoots just going to start to open. I mean, November! November! And there's another plant that doesn't know what time of the year it is. This is my Dizocactus acumenii. This doesn't flower. 
this is a place, Tommy. This is a June flowering plant. Here you go, November. And, and look at the size of that bud. Let me just show you a bit nearer. Look at that. I mean, give it a, another week or so, these mild weathers, and that is going to be fully open. And also, look, got more on here. Incredible. My hardy fuchsia delta Sarah is still in bloom. And uh, this is, I think, one of my favorite of the uh, hardy fuchsias. The dahlias are still in flower. The uh, amnerines, they came out all right. They've done quite a nice job here. Look at that, I've got another, there's another flowering spike on that canna. These days, I have, let's be honest with you, I have stopped deadheading them because really this time of year, they're, they're never really gonna amount to much. Any of these young buds, they tend to just, just stay tight bud and don't really open up but there's still colour on that and I just noticed this look that is another flowering spike on my Hedicium Devon Cream which is your ginger lily the world has gone entirely mad and this is nice in fact that's unusual this is the uh, Salve Hot Lips and uh, usually once we come into autumn, we lose the uh, the red base on this bloom and uh, it just comes out white, which some of them are, but we've still got a lot of this red. So I'm really, really impressed. Look at this, we've got this dichondra that was actually uh, found in the greenhouse earlier this year. I thought it was dead, but actually it re-sprouted and it's grown. But look what's in it. Apart from these apples that have fallen out of the tree, which of course I will immediately take out after I've just taken this clip. There's parsley growing in it parsley what the flip i don't know what this garden's doing now something i've been banging on about all year is uh, my tree dahlias and how late they come into bloom and be honest with you when i was uh, before we went away there was no sign of any bloom buds on this uh, whatsoever so um to my great surprise and uh, it does happen every november let's put some bud out let me show you can you see can you see that it's just there you see it i mean to be honest with you for a plant that is so monstrous but absolutely tiny i've got a better one to show you there you go let me see if i can pull this down a bit there you go look at that now usually when i have these in bloom as soon as the uh, they start to uh, break out the um we get a frost and they get absolutely naked but there's no frost on the horizon so that means there's every chance that I'll finally have a tree daily in flower for the first time in my life. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that. The old salvia had spent, that's still in bloom and it's still really impressive. I do like that pink and I don't like pink. And there's still a bit of colour on the old salvia black and blue. And, and again, normally these would have finished by this time of the year. And look at that, I've got another more another flower spike with this uh, Canna uh, King Red Humber. Oh, it's amazing, I love that. Look at the colour on that foliage. Really, really love that one. So, in the space of just a week, the garden has definitely tipped into autumn, but there are mixed messages because a lot of the plants aren't really sure what time of year it is because it's been so mild. What do you do? Well, really, you can't do anything. You just have to allow uh, nature to take its course, but... Uh, very strange, very strange. Parsley in my hanging basket. I don't know. Ugh, life is weird. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate you watching this far. You've done very well. And um, if you've got anything you'd like to add, any weird stuff that's going on in your garden that really shouldn't be happening at this time of year, then let us know. Put that into the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. One last message. You know what it is. Right, now, just before you go, if you want to see more content, more behind the scenes stuff and uh, images that I've taken of some weird freaky plants over the years, then uh, you're in luck because we've created an Instagram page. So uh, you can find the link in our description. You can find the link on our main page. And if I'm clever enough, I might be able to get a link somewhere up there. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to see more YouTube stuff, then uh, check out this video here. That's quite a good one. And if it doesn't float your boat, then uh, Another one right there. And uh, enjoy these while I still got the strength, imagination, and aptitude to make them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.